Now, another thing that the experts tell me is, uh, if I want to be good at this speaking business, I got to have a book. I got to have a book. And uh, that kind of holds true for everything you do in life, right? You want to be a truck driver, you got to have a book. <laughs> so uh, really important to have a book if you want to be a speaker, and I couldn't agree with that more. In fact, uh, I'm writing a book. <laughs> yeah, I am. Now, the working title is uh, Daily Inspirations for People Fed Up with Daily Inspirations. <laughs> That's uh, kind of the launching pad. Uh, I don't know if we'll keep that title, but close. Um, yeah, so I'm writing the book. Um, actually, I haven't written a darn word yet, but uh, I am working on a book, and uh, I, I'm really proud of that. Uh, but again, you know, you can't just jump into writing a book. You gotta, you gotta think it through. You gotta plan. In fact, the experts say you gotta have a plan and a vision for your book. You gotta have a plan and a vision for your book. Can you say that with me? You, you gotta, gotta have, have a plan, plan and, and a vision. vision. For your book, yeah, your very book. good, very good. Thank you, Michelle, for that. For your book, I for forgot. Your book. For your book, and actually anything in life, you got to have a plan and a vision, Strategy right? Strategy too. Strategy, very good. I write the jokes here, Michelle. Not <laughs> not. <coughs> okay, so um, I, I I've been thinking a lot about my plan, uh, really thinking about it, and as they say in sales, you got to plan your work and work your plan and plan on working on your plan because without a plan, <laughs> you have no plan to work on. And I plan on having a good workable plan that I can work on. I just haven't gotten around yet to planning the plan, but I'm working on that. All right, here come the eggs. We got uh, cheese covered scrambled eggs with hash browns here and the bacon. Is that right? Is that the right order you got there? And Michelle, did we get your order right? Yeah, oh, that so looks beautiful. excellent. Thank okay. You. English muffin, I like those. Hot sauce, please, for Michelle. <coughs> Sorry, it's okay. Sorry to interrupt. This is just the beginning of my career, no problem. It's very, you know, I don't want to interrupt your breakfast, Michelle, <coughs> for my <Thank> career. <coughs> so, uh, you know, uh, above and beyond the plan and the vision, really, for the book, if you really want to be a writer, folks, you got to have a place to write. Am I right about that? You got a place to write. I mean, Steinbeck, Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, they all had places to write. And so uh, with that in mind, if you're going to be a writer, uh, I've been down at the, the lumber yard looking for wood uh, for the desk that I plan to build. Um, <clears throat> that's really important. Um, and this is going to be a solid writer's desk. It's not going to be one of those flimsy pieces of plywood on a couple of sawhorses. You know, would Hemingway use a piece of plywood? I don't think so. It'd be a solid writer's desk. So uh, you got that going on, and, and the desk has got to be just perfect. It's got to be the right height. Can't be too low, or else my back's going to start hurting on me. I'll have to see the chiropractor over there. Uh, can't be too high, or my wrists are going to start hurting. Uh, and, <laughs> and then there's the lighting. Don't even get me started on the lighting. Uh, did you know that there's like a whole slew of lighting experts in the yellow pages? I went through this, I, I spent 28 days just researching <laughs> <coughs> these lighting experts. In fact, I have a consultation with one after this at my house. Uh, she's going to come in and just figure out the perfect kind of lighting for my writer's desk because lighting and writing, they're like this. They go together like this. You can't have one without the other. Um, uh, actually, you can have lighting without writing. I mean, we have a room here with lighting and no writing, right? Um, except for probably the guy in the back texting going, this guy sucks. When's this going to be over? 